As Grayson County continues to grow, so are its unincorporated areas, and so is the cost of providing emergency services to those areas. Well, now the county is trying to figure out how to keep everyone safe. News 12's Garrett Stringfellow explains. None of us want to take that phone call from a, a county uh, resident saying that they couldn't get an ambulance. Judge Bruce Dossey says Grayson County has a problem to solve. We've always provided uh, fire and EMS coverage to the unincorporated areas through contracts with volunteer agencies and city municipalities. But those costs are rising. Just in the two years that I've been in office, uh, we went from a cost of 1.5 million for fire and EMS coverage to 2.3 million. At some point, there's going to be a breaking point where we can't afford to cover everything. So the county is asking the attorney general, what is their responsibility for providing those services in unincorporated areas? This has nothing to do with whether we want to provide coverage or services. It's just a matter of as we continue to grow, can we continue to fund that reasonably? If the county isn't legally liable to provide those services, that would give them leverage when working with developers in those areas. We want to form a partnership with them so that they can help pay for those services. If they refuse to offer any compensation to reimburse for that coverage, then there may come a point in time where the, the county government has to say, you know, we can't afford this anymore. And Judge Dossie says that no one wants that. Our plan is to continue to provide funding to volunteer fire departments and municipalities so that they will provide coverage to the unincorporated areas. We've got to come up with new solutions and out-of-the-box ideas. In Sherman, Garrett Stringfellow, News 12.